Try to relax your anus. to relax your anus. <laughs> Try to relax your anus. Rubs his cock and he will rub it hard with a camera on his name is Phil. He likes to jerk his man me for a thrill because his name is Mr. Phil. Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am a man and so is Phil. And this is Phil Fernell is a man. Part. I have no fucking clue at this point. <laughs> and we're going to have some more Philip Brunel family fun this evening. I'm sure he's going to love me for this. I did actually super chat him $10 recently to make sure he knew he was a man. Uh, I confirm that Phil is a man. <laughs> Papa Doodle Doo, how are you? Pretty much, it's whatever part it is at this point. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. I like to get that on YouTube, but... No, he's got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. 20,000 20, idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Your streams need more birds, DSP, Street Fighter, please. Of course. <laughs> Russian small businesses are being you vandalized. You win. Well, that's not Perfect. right either. You know, that's not that's never that's not the way to go about it. With your YouTube channel and uh, 
hope you enjoy your life, bro. I mean, it's a, it's a great All right, boys, that clip sets a perfect precedent for the walnut we're about to talk about in this video, Dark Side Phil. What's with the filter? <laughs> Over the last month, I've done a ton of research into Dark Side Phil. What did I find? I basically found. The other streams are still up, man, so you can go check them out. Uh, we talked a lot about the Amico. I did some... I did the final stack of Wii U games that I could do while streaming. Now I have to... There's like a few more I have to do. I have to film and record the footage conventionally due to stupid motion control shit. Found the same thing that I found with Wings of Redemption and Boogie 2988. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Dark Side Phil, Boogie, and Wings of Redemption are all the same people, just in different bodies. Well, I mean, not really like that in different bodies. They're all fat pieces of shit. <laughs> but they all fall into that same category of having a. Phil isn't fat. I wouldn't call Phil fat. Horrible, toxic, just downright terrible mindset that makes their streams a breeding ground for trolls. They're basically like the holy trinity of shit streamers. Also, let's not worry about Boogie and Wings of Redemption. We've covered those guys already. Let's focus on Dark Side Phil. I will say that I have noticed that Dark Side Phil is actually a little bit more intelligent than Wings of Boogie. He's capable of critical thought and he has the ability to think for himself, which I do respect. I think that Kevin understands that uh, he would want me to continue to be able to make content so he could continue to make fun of me, right? He's not that stupid. He's not, I mean, he's not... I don't think that he's capable of critical thought at all. I would say that Wings is more capable of critical thought. Wings is more self-aware, too. Phil is not self-aware in the slightest. He is not self-aware. He has zero, zero self-awareness, Philip Burnell. A nice guy by any means, but I don't think that Tevin is a stupid guy. He knows he can get away with what he does. He makes money doing it. Why wouldn't he, right? But he definitely has some other issues that I want to talk about in this video. Point number one, Darkside Phil has... If Phil was a, could think critically, he would realize that he should market his derps. That's it. Master the art of the blame game, right? And boys, we're bringing back the quizzes because you guys loved it last time. Quiz number one. If a bunch of bad things happen to you in life, do you think it's a result of A, you? Or B, everyone else? If you answered you, then you are correct. You're on one out of one on the dark side Phil test, guys. Good job. Wow, that's very exciting. <laughs> this is one of the most... Yeah, Phil never blames. It's very rare, if ever, that Phil blames himself. Important principles to apply in your own lives, boys. Put in the effort to take blame for your own actions as much as you possibly can. Now, sometimes things happen in our life where it is objectively the fault of someone else. But 95% of the time, there's something that we could have... Oh my god, that sounds amazing. And it's like native with the pro con with the Wii U Pro Controller? No, Wii U. Switch Pro Controller? Change That would have changed the outcome of the whole situation. Let's have a look at some of Dark Side Phil's examples and we'll rearrange it so it's Dark Side Phil's fault. 2018 has kind of been the opposite. It's been like a very meager, measly, slim pickings when it comes to games. I mean, really, I try to do streams to entertain you guys that are downtime streams and people complain. It's boring. So it's not me. Yeah, I've always said this about Phil. I agree with this one. You, dude, if a stream is boring or if you're not getting enough money, it's you. Same with me. Yeah. It's the viewership. People are now bored because there's been such a lack of new releases, and I get that. So in this clip, it's DSP saying that he's tried playing new games. Yes, yeah, he's definitely grown quite a bit. I hope he keeps it up, Boogie. Seriously, he's done a hell of a job, like, doing almost a... He, I mean, he, I see him still getting to some spats, but he's nowhere near as bad. Yeah, it's native, and it's awesome. Holy shit. And his viewers aren't entertained by those games, so therefore it's his viewers' fault for not being entertained by the game. But let's look at this objectively. How does someone like CD and the Third play so many different games, some of them are really unentertaining, and he still pulls like 5,000 plus viewers on Twitch every time? It's because he himself is entertaining, and it doesn't matter if he's playing Fortnite or whether he's playing some random game that no one- 
yep. ever heard of. He's still going to get those viewers. Most variety streamers are variety streamers because they can make any game entertaining. If you can't make every game entertaining, then maybe variety streaming isn't really for you. You either have to be very skilled at every game, or you either have to be very entertaining at every game. And I don't really think that Phil has... <laughs> I'm neither of those. It's why I like just talk about random shit. ...has either of these in place. Phil, it's not the game's fault, dude. It's yours. You need to become more entertaining. The game doesn't need a change. This is insanely bad. All right, now second clip. This one is honestly hilarious. And you know Tower Cat just says something funny. DSP says that he is broke because the YouTube algorithm has changed. 60,000 videos on YouTube and you're still broke. Yeah, you're right. You want to know why, Tower Cat? Because YouTube me. YouTube changed their business so many times over the years. They changed the search algorithms to push my videos out of the search so no one can find them. They changed the way they divvy out ads to make it so true. that if your videos don't have a certain percentage of viewer engagement, you don't get an ad on your video. They've completely screwed me. It really is. It's ridiculous. The way that it, uh, when I started on YouTube, it was one business model, and I catered the way I was doing things to that model, and it worked. And then over the years, YouTube just kept changing the rules. And yeah, and it was also Phil, like I've always said, because you were still doing <laughs> camera footage. He was like the last person left on this platform was still pointing a camera at the TV. He was still doing that shit, I'm pretty sure, in 2013. Matter of fact, I'm going to verify that real quick. Let me go to YouTube. It's actually a really simple thing to look up. DSP Gaming 2013. Where is... You just give me a random. He's doing his Christmas tree. Really? You're gonna make it <laughs> the trolls videos? There's more troll videos than actual videos of Phil. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so let me. As he's th what a what a great. <laughs> <coughs> It's made video as soon as you go to it. It's just him coughing. Oh, Phil. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'll be back in one second. I want to see sort by. Let's go to oldest. Okay. Now let's go to like. Or you just freeze. That's fine. Just freeze. It. He was definitely in 2013 still for a while using camera footage. It's the YouTube's not moving fast enough and I'm not going to changing the rules and moving the goalpost and changing the rules because they kept changing what they wanted their own business to be and that's what really screwed me over it's not that i didn't work hard they kept changing their site and business without publicly disclosing the information half the time of what they were changing and there's nothing i could do about it. <laughs> yeah because they don't want phil the reason why they do that is they don't want people to game the fucking system bro that's why Yeah, he is. And it's it's everyone else's fault. You notice that too? Pixel Shark? <laughs> Dude, this is what YouTube is. Are you living under a rock? You think it's best if YouTube hadn't changed their algorithm at all over the last 10 years? Where do you think YouTube would be if it... It would be dead. <laughs> you would have... Everyone would have made clickbait garbage still like Tobuscus was doing back in the day. And everyone would just be like, yeah, none of this content has anything good to it. I ain't want, and it would be dead. It would be blip TV. It hadn't changed its algorithm since 2008 when you first started. <coughs> YouTube would be dead and you wouldn't even have a platform to upload on. It is so pathetic that you would blame YouTube for changing rather than looking introspectively and saying, all right, YouTube is changing. Maybe I need to change my content. It's not YouTube's fault that they've changed. It's your fault because you haven't changed for YouTube. Why do you think... I'm doing the part of the reason I'm saying I'm doing the Wii U video. You got you got to try stuff that's different, man. You got to try stuff that's different. Death by internet. How are you? The they have to keep changing it. There's also a billion channels that do fucking game gaming news now. It's a dime a dozen. I mean, there was a lot of people doing it when I first started doing the gaming news, but now it's like every it, like every time I scratch my ass, there's a new gaming news channel. You got to do something to stand out. You got to change. You got to evolve. I should have been doing this shit sooner.
On top of this, you blaming YouTube is assumably you saying that your income isn't high enough from YouTube. But what about the other side? What about your spendings and money management, Phil? How do you actually know that you're good with money, dark side Phil? It's all started when I moved across the country in 2014. Before then, I did not really have much significant debt at all. But when I moved across the country from Connecticut to Washington, I accrued a ridiculous amount of debt um, between, you know. Yeah, because you chose to move across the Cal across this country. The down payment on this home that I live in, the moving cost, the cost to furnish the house, the cost to upgrade my business. This one is a double whammy because first he blames YouTube for his lower income instead of realizing that he hasn't adapted to the new level of YouTube and therefore he's not getting views and he's not making money because his content sucks. And then secondly, he blames his income instead of acknowledging that he's probably not as good with money as he realizes. But that second point is only an assumption, but considering he's going through a bankruptcy, I'd say that it's a pretty accurate assumption. Even pretty with accurate. all the money that I make on streams, <clears throat> it wasn't enough to cover my, you know, exorbitant amount of debt. So basically, well, by the fault middle, is it you're to end of last bill. year, I decided I had to take drastic action and, you know, figure out what the hell am I going to do because I can't, I'm not, I'm not paying one of my mortgages, which I can't afford anymore. Um, I know they're going to foreclose and try to come after me for money that I don't have. And the unsecured debts aren't getting any better. What do I do? You know, as you know, I filed for bankruptcy, which I told you guys two weeks ago. And you could make that argument that's like, oh, yeah, Donald Trump, he went through six bankruptcies. So being bankrupt doesn't mean you're bad with money. But no, like most of the time you're going bankrupt is just a result of poor money management. Once again, Phil, it's not YouTube. It's your own money managing. That's the issue here, dude. Other streamers also get attacked by trolls, but they either have time or money. They can afford to throw out the problem to counter it. Something you can't afford. No, it has nothing even to do with that. Because you could have all the money in the world and still not get some of these motherfuckers. To do in your current situation, P.S. Happy New Year, maybe better than 2018. I mean, yeah, I have no time or money to throw at any. And it's always funny. There's another trend that you notice with Phil too. After watching, in probably as much as it's a Gundam about this guy because it's fascinating. Oh, last year was so good, but this year is tough. He says that about every year though. Like, 2019 was good. 2020 is rough. 2020 was good, but 2021's rough. Like, he's always been going through it. It's just his shtick. Even before bankruptcies, even before, it's always, like, even when he was just starting off, he was hinting at people to hit, to to click on ads and shit. He got kicked out of the partner program because he did that. He had, he had The way he circumvented is by signing up with the network. It's just what he does, man. Dude should have been a used car salesman. Anything, let's be honest here. Right, this one here is just straight delusion. So you're saying that the best way to fix the trolls in your chat is to throw time and money at it? Dude, trolls in your stream are the result of your own personality, not time or money. Let me ask you a question then. If you had all the time and all the money in the world, what would you do that would get the trolls out of your chat? Uh, probably nothing because that's not the fix for trolling. Yeah, what are you going to do? We send in like SEAL Team 6, Phil, to get the trolls? <laughs> I guess if you had all the time in the world, you could go and do some research or read some books into how to actually become a likable person. That would get rid of the trolls. The trolls would stop if you actually became a chilled out, likable person. And you have more than enough time to go and do some research on social intelligence for one hour every night, Dark Side Phil. Dark Side Phil also shares the same personality trait as Ice Poseidon where he gives the trolls a lot of attention. We talked about this in the swatting video a few months back. We'll start this point off with a quiz. If you're giving all the trolls heaps of attention for half your stream, do you think that they are A, gonna stop trolling, or B, keep trolling? If you answer B, you're correct. That's what trolls- That's what they do. They're there for the attention. It took me- Look, I am a thick-brained- a, a thick-skulled asshole. It took me <laughs> until- eight years of doing this essentially to learn no no more than that actually but yeah if you ignore them they go away it's still it doesn't go away completely it's no, you're in the public eye you're never going to have it go away completely but most of it does here i sit so brokenhearted i tried to ship it only that's how i felt yesterday man i tried now today i, was, I shit my brains out but yesterday i don't know, i guess the cold or whatever i had just caused my ass to just be an exploding ass with air.
Yeah, luckily it didn't shart. That's a good point. Trolls want. They feed off attention. If you take away the attention from the trolls, they literally just stop trolling. If Darkseid feels... Mostly. 98% of the time, yes. He'll just set himself a challenge of not talking about... The Unless it's next level, like, stalker trolls, shit. I'm not speaking negatively for one or two months. The trolls would literally have nothing to upload on YouTube. I remember this one thing that Nick A30 said, often considered one of the most positive streamers in all of streaming history. When he was talking about building a good audience, he said that he only gives attention to the positive comments and he ignores all the negative comments. Darkside Phil does the opposite of this. He does not for one yep. second focus on anything positive and he only focuses on all the negative comments in his stream. All the bad things that have happened to him. And he puts his life stresses on his audience. Just in general, not even just about money. Like, he could have burnt his tongue, like, eating his eggs too hot for breakfast, and he'll, like, somehow turn it into his, his, his viewer's problem. <clears throat> or how he's feeling bad. Look at this example. What did I do to celebrate Christmas this year? Well, first of all, I decorated the house, okay? Um, and basically, what do we do? We put up some nice things. We uh, Most of the stuff we decorated the house with is all old stuff. Stuff that I had had from previous years because I don't have a lot of money. Phil, this is why you get trolled. Don't talk about your finances, Phil. I say this all the time. Why am I whispering? I don't know. And, or I guess maybe th this is may maybe Phil the only other thing I could think of and this is a stretch is that Phil at it's not that he's a genius yeah goodbye and thanks for wasting two dollars to say something fucking stupid um You talk about this, Phil. The only thing I could think of is that he knows at this point. Maybe he is smarter in the 4D chess. Is he? He obviously wasn't in the beginning because if he, if this was all a shtick, he would have jumped on the. This is how you don't play stuff and made probably millions off of it. But now it's like, all right, I don't have anything else to offer in terms of entertainment. So maybe being like this is the only way I could get eyes on me, and I guess it works because I'm talking about it, but it's the only other thing I think of. But I think that's giving him too much credit. I just think this is all he knows. <laughs> oh, man. You know, so this, like, all the stuff you see behind you is all from previous years. I didn't buy a single new light. Someone gives him a really positive donation about what he did for Christmas. And instead of just giving them a pleasant, positive response back about what he did for Christmas, he turns it into, I didn't do much because I didn't have any money. This is not entertaining. Yeah, this... Dude, everyone has problems, especially family during the holidays. Whether it be finances or you got into a fight with some, like... You don't talk about it, at least in detail anyway. Uh, Phil digs hole, Phil. Why is the hole getting deep? Yeah, I guess he's digging the hole. I don't understand why I'm going deeper into this hole. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Stop digging, Phil. <laughs> Take your hands off the shovel, and if you don't keep digging in the hole, you won't go down deeper. But he just keeps going. Payment. And to be honest, it's kind of just sad. Again, think about it. For one month, if he only said positive things on stream, what would the trolls have to upload to YouTube? In the process, he would probably convert a lot of those trolls into genuine viewers because they'd notice the change in the pleasant vibe in the stream. Oh, Swag is what's I don't know at this point. Maybe. But I think what would happen is that whoever is left watching Phil, kind of the same with Wings, if they both became positive and stopped feeding the trolls, I don't know what they would have to offer. People would just probably move on to the next lol cow. You know what I mean? So, no, which is harder to take off on Twitch or YouTube? I would say YouTube. YouTube's almost impossible now because the algorithms and things that they've employed, it's almost impossible to get a video seen on YouTube unless you're absolutely 100% toxic. My All my videos... 
Did he really say that? Oh shit! Sorry, I'm scratching something off my. Did he really say? Let's hear. I did on KO Gaming. The videos that took off were the ones that were. This is the worst game I've ever played. Anything that was a good review, no one wanted to see. But a toxic ass video, fucking went nuts, right? Yeah, Phil. People like sensationalism, Phil. People like sensation. What you don't realize is that you're still bringing toxicity anyway. Just you're not self-aware about it. Wait, so it's impossible to be seen on YouTube if you don't have toxic content? Wait, so how would you explain these two videos that I uploaded in the last two weeks? which are both building up my favorite YouTubers. They've been my two most successful videos that I've ever uploaded, and they both have a 98% non-subscriber viewer base. Sorry, Dark Side Phil, but I'm gonna give you a bit of a reality check here. It's hard to get noticed on YouTube if your content is garbage, which yours is. It's like they have to find these extreme measures to get noticed. I don't even know where it's from, man. It was from some licensed free flip place. Got a couple of them. Birds sometimes take dumps on me. <laughs> I have an itchy beard, too. How do you feel about all that? In order to become popular. Not really, dude. You just have to put out content that people actually want to watch. No one wants to sit there and watch a nine-hour playthrough of a game that 99.9... .9... Again, why do you think I'm doing the Wii U stuff? It is a overcrowded field with the new stuff. It's time to do stuff that's different. and I'm trying a unique spin of where I'm recording the gameplay. I'll do that with the Atari VCS, too, after the Wii U video is done, which... That will be... I don't want to even say this week it'll be done ASAP. I was talking to my editor and he's already taking Xanax and shitting himself having to edit the Wii U video because I uploaded most of the footage today. Because, <laughs> like, the reactions you got from me for Scribble Knots, you know, that's not... That's natural and you're seeing it live and I'm recording it. You know what I'm saying? Um... My family has a saying for digging deeper, and we say, here's a ladder, now dig. Fill in bodies. Yes, pretty much. Like, but unfortunately, like I said, it could very well be that maybe behind the scenes he smartened up. I doubt it, because you could tell by his personality that he hasn't changed, but I'm trying to give him the benefit of that, where he's like, I've dug myself in this corner by not being self-aware. Now I guess I just have to pretend I'm not self-aware and just fall into the same... Shit. Oh, I thought I had the burp. ...percent of people have never heard of. That kind of content was popular in what, 2012? No one wants to watch a nine hour playthrough of a game when you can get the same entertainment from a different video in 10 minutes from a different- And everyone's offering S tier content now, man. It's not even that the production value has to be the same, but mother- Same. Insane, I mean, if I can to fucking talk today. But you could edit 4K video properly color graded on a fucking iPad mini <laughs> you know what I'm saying like there's no excuse anymore for stuff to look like shit the scribble not shit was ridiculous different YouTube but that's why I'm doing that stuff man you gotta have the ever because here is the thing about news stories too it's it's definitely done well for me I can't complain and I have I don't want to say milked it because I do love talking about gaming news. I genuinely fucking do. But I did. I, I guess you could say I milked it. Just review, review br brutally honest to you as they until the 11th hour. But yeah, it's a dime a dozen now. Everyone and their mother like if IGN has over 10 million subscribers, I think they're close to 20 million now. And this, some of their news can't get like 40,000 views the video. I, one, I need to be thankful because my videos actually, on when it, those kind of videos outperform their theirs. And two, that's a big fucking sign that it's time to move on from just talking about mostly gaming news. And I have to fart. I'll wait for the applause for the ass air to come out. One, two. Tell your dad about this fart. <laughs> <sighs> what have I walked into? You don't want to know what you've walked into. That was ex that was exquisite ass air. I see people talking shit about the air that came out of my ass. You know what? Fuck you. 
I love birds. I love birds. I'm glad I stopped doom scrolling. What are you talking about looking at? What's going on with the Russia and Ukraine? This isn't 2011 YouTube anymore where people want to watch round one to round a hundred of Nazi zombies on Black Ops 1. I don't make enough money. It's so true, man. What a weird time that was on YouTube. You used to have, like, uh, Only Use Me Blade talking about his uh, anal warts and, like, just, like, knifing. And people used to just be like, oh, wow, Blade, you're the, you're the best YouTuber ever. I'm like... <laughs> what? I mean, I'm not knocking the guy or whatever. Like, hey, he had some skill with that knife in there, but it's like he's just putting up random, like, 720p gameplay telling you about his day. Am I missing something? I put $5 down in the Steam Deck. There you go. I'm waiting for my actual... Re I want to pay for the rest of my fucking order. I haven't gotten the, the email. To hire people to tackle trolling and do... You know what I mean? I can't hire moderators. I can't hire people <laughs> to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> Who hires Phil? I haven't. I know. Mul I don't think Hassan Piker hires fucking moderators. I don't have a moderator on payroll here. <laughs> I just. I love this man. I missed your super chat. A hairy man stream. Who would ask for anything more? Oh, the camera's on. The camera's on the whole time. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I did miss your super. Oh, the camera's on. It stinks like shit. Now my ass is in her body. He has, such a, he has a great voice for ASMR, doesn't he? Man, this one just goes hand in hand with that other clip that I showed before. Hiring moderators to tackle the problem is only going to make the problem worse, dude. It's just giving them an opportunity for more attention. Yeah, because then you have, like, everyone... You, you can't stamp out trolling, but he'll never understand that. You can't do it. Let's do a great... You have been trying to go after the trolls now, Phil, longer than I... When I was at peak locale, which was 2015, quite frankly, to 2018. That was my... I mean, I was feeding the trolls beforehand, too, because I didn't learn until, twenty, like, late 2017 to early 2018. But you've been dealing with this shit longer than I have. You would think that you would know, like, what to not do. But... Uh, Case study from everyone's favorite, Wings of Redemption. Give me a sec, I got a ban. I missed your stream labs. If COVID-19 could speak, what, would it would sound like Phil? No. It, or, or wait, hold on, maybe. Kung Fu my fucking ass. Probably. It's kind of the, I mean, no, that's not true. Wings could actually be fun. Like, when he's in a good mood, like, if, if Wings was always good mood Wings, he would be a really entertaining streamer. Phil, I agree. Going into a stream with Phil, at least when he's gaming, <laughs> like I said, is just like having, like, an, a disgruntled, underpaid teacher who's just telling the students to shut up. And there was a Streamlabs, of course, because Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, Streamlabs doesn't work. I love that. I'll check it out in a minute. And all these people. And we're going to do another quiz, guys. Does Wings of Redemption's mods banning all of the trolls in the chat, A, stop the trolls from coming in, or B, encourages the trolls even more? I would say, no, it actually stops all the trolling and Wings never deals with trolling ever. Of course it makes more trolls. Again, the way to stop the trolls is to starve them of attention. Banning them does the exact opposite to what the streamer thinks it does. You should be trying to mimic the personality of successful streamers. Do you see people like Shroud banning every single troll in his chat? Oh wait, he, he's actually a likable streamer, so he doesn't have trolls. That's a, ba that's a bad example. The birthday- Well, you always have trolls. No matter how likable you are, you're always gonna have- I assure you. I mean, even Dr. Disrespect. I know he had the drama with his wife, but he's still considered a pretty likable streamer. Look at the shit that Happy's house got shot up. Like, people are fucking crazy. But, if you handle it like they do, like Shroud does and all of them, you're gonna have less of it. Day of Tevin, like I give a f all right, boys, here's a little side and final note for you guys before we end this video. Try and cut this saying out of your life. I don't care or I don't give a shit. 
Because honestly, the only people who actually say this are people who do care. A true indicator that you don't care is just not saying anything at all. Isn't it always funny how the situation is like, I've just been in this heated argument for the last five minutes and I'm very angry, but I don't care, bro. I don't care at all, bro. Dude, if you didn't care, you wouldn't have started wouldn't the argument or the conversation in the first place. You clearly do care just by the fact that you say that you don't care. So whenever you guys hear Dark Side Phil say, I don't care, it means he does care. That's going to be it for this one, though, guys. If you guys could hit the like. Philip Brunel is a man. Period. End of discussion. Wait, is that another one by him? We've already watched it's the It's a Gundam stuff. Who is DSP? A hundred things? What? Hey Google. Who is- A hundred fucking things? Dude, I gotta get Seltzer. Hold on. I gotta get- I gotta get Seltzer. We're in for a hell of an evening. Let me just- birds and- birds and- birds and emo music. fucking garage to get that. This DSP gaming. Philip Paul Burnell, better known online as DSP Gaming, Darkside Phil, or DSP for short, is an active American member of the LP community on YouTube, which he joined in 2008. Thank you. For 11 awesome years that you've allowed me to be a content creator here on the internet on a daily basis, sharing my gameplay experiences with all of you. So many. Aha, Spindrift, um, Waterloo. Would you like to know more? Yes. Okay, yes, I would. loading 100 and things about DSP. 100 things? I may need more pot too. Gaming. Yeah, I need more. Philip Brunel is a man. <laughs> Philip Brunel is a man. <laughs> Philip Brunel is a man. <laughs> DSP Gaming Legacy. Well, I get what they did. It's actually well played here growing up. They're making it like it's Google Assistant. Uh. One. A decade long time let's play -er. Hello everyone, I'm Darkside Phil, or DSP for short, 
and welcome to DSP Gaming. Now, if you're actually seeing this video, it means that you're not currently a subscriber of the channel. Um, just kind of wanted to throw this out there. I know that thousands of people have been freaking out. What does DSP look like? Why does he not show his face? Did not have expectations. Him a partner. So oh. Okay, light speed. I'll check it out, and then. Not tomorrow, because I'm finishing up filming for the Wii U video tomorrow. And I'm not even sure I'm going to stream, but Monday. Did you send it? Where did you send it to? My submission email? Uh, Very few people, I think, can say that. That they were watching me in, like, 2008 or 2009, and they're still watching me today. So for someone to say that you've been watching me for 11 years is pretty goddamn crazy, in my opinion. But thank you. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I bet you most of the people have moved on. I bet you secretly he'll never admit it. I bet you he re regrets leaving that apartment. He, I think he was larger back then. When he had... No, nah, he's the same size. I'm looking at his nipples and his, his man breasts have not grown at all. Don't worry, Phil, I know I have man breasts too, so I could judge of a man breast. Yeah, his physique is very, he just has, yeah, he's a, he's like me. I'm Phil, I, I can't even knock you, bro. I'm in the, I, I do not, I am not a man who is meant to be unbearded. Yeah, I don't, Sonny V2 said he, he, like, Phil's not fat. No. Wings and Boogie, yes, I'm fat too. Wing DSP is not fat. Two. He may have nippleage, but he's not fat. Over 56,000 videos on the DSP Gaming YouTube channel. So on my channel, DSP Gaming, you're going to see a Philip wide Rinaldi variety man. of content. In addition, I probably upload Rinaldi more man. videos than most Machinima partners. And therefore, you will notice if you follow my channel, DSP Gaming, that you are going to see a lot of footage come out every single day. Oh. Three. One million views a month on the DSP Gaming YouTube channel. Not anymore. He's lucky if he gets 100,000 now, I bet. YouTube? <laughs> That's it. It's like the... He, he looks like the fucking guy from that meme. Aliens. <laughs> Except, Phil, it's YouTube. <laughs> Yo, I may have to clip that. I may have to clip that, for real. Hey, Siri. Set a reminder to get the clip from Phil at 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Okay, your reminder is set for tomorrow, 2.02 a.m. What? 2 a.m.? Shut up! Hey Siri, you're fucking stupid. I won't I respond to that. to that. Hey Siri, what's my nickname? Apparently, it's a succulent man with succulent nipples and succulent birds. Why are you both answering? Hey, Siri. Why are you both answering? I don't have an answer I don't have an answer Is there something else I can help with? Why the hell do you both have different accents? I don't know how to respond to that. Shave my... Hey, Siri. Shave my ass. That's not nice. Hey Siri, pay a compliment to my ass. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Tell me I'm uh -huh. a handsome man. She won't say I'm handsome. Well, fuck you then. Ranks channels based on how many views they bring in on a monthly basis, and based off of that rank, they actually prioritize and and put channels in order dependent on how you're gonna get ranked in searches. How you <laughs> he's I'm telling you, he looks like the YouTube. Yes, the videos YouTube. will show Thank up you. in related videos. The chances that your video will show up as a highlight somewhere on YouTube. All right. Four. 
the video that made him a star. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> okay, everyone. It's DSP, and we're starting Heavy Rain. Uh, uh, heavy on Rain. PS3. It's a um, um, right off. No! What's he doing? He's running across the street like an asshole. Well, yes, if his son was about to get hit by a car, he may want to save his life, Phil. That's something that happens, Phil. I would want to jump in front of a car to save my son's life, too, Phil. Five. Additional YouTube channels. Welcome to my Dark Side Phil channel here on YouTube. I have created a new channel on YouTube just for the playthrough. He looks like he's about to go to a like a, a seminar and be like, like try to sell you on multi-level marketing. Hey guys, my name is Philip Brunell, and I'd like to show you my new exciting product here. That if you get this, if you get a certain amount of people who work under you, that what everything they make, you get a portion of too. I got caught masturbating on my live stream. <laughs> Yo, he looks like Curly from the Three Stooges right there, doesn't he? Yo, he looks like Curly from the Three. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa through a Final Fantasy 13, so you better fucking deserve it, you piece of shit. Hello, I'm Darkside Phil, or DSP for short, and welcome to the King of Hate Vlogs. Hello and welcome to KO Gaming, delivering gaming's great- Final Fantasy 13 isn't easy. God, that game sounds like torture. Greatest hits. Rich, you're my, hero. you're my hero, bro. I'm going to have an epic beard one day, too. You know, the only- the best beard on YouTube is the quarterings, obviously. Six. Uh, Not just a let's player. So he starts basically making fun of the crowd. But there are people that watch every week in hopes that he will turn heel. Right. Yeah, there are. Look, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, and it's always there's always twenty seven sides to every story. But I bet you Phil kicks himself in the ass for not working with uh Rambo anymore and not working out whatever the issue was. I missed just I have no idea it was how long he was on with Machinima before. Um, Neil, not even the slightest clue. But people used to watch their stuff, man. What is up, everyone? DSP here. And <laughs> he made, dude. He, well, admittedly, I was making videos just like this back in the day. It's so laughable. It's absolutely amazing that I got away with this shit. Welcome to another edition of DSP Tries It. All right, so this is an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the vendor room at SGC cucumbers. 2013 before the crowds are allowed in. Welcome to a new edition of a Loot Crate unboxing, the Doctor Strange Roll. That's so funny. <laughs> Yo, I bet you when he's kicky, he just goes in that robe in the bedroom and cats in there and she's like running away from him. Oh, I'm horny. No, well, I'm not. <laughs> Phil just, Phil just fucking runs around the house with a boner, wearing this cape. Seven. YouTube subscribers. If you were going to YouTube to watch a top gamer, I was in there. I was in the rankings of one of the top YouTube Let's Players. Eight. Twitter followers. Hopefully this will help you, and of course on a daily basis for you guys to know what's going on when and when to expect what. This will be your go-to source for that information, okay? A lifelong, isn't his name Phil the Unstoppable now? Nine. Twitch followers, subscribers. Shit, he, I think he's gained more subs in the past two years than I have. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's not true. Because I was actually gaining quite a bit of subs in 2019 and 2020. It was, uh... 
2021 when things started to change a little bit, but I, th I still think his sub growth is actually beating mine right now. Thank you to everyone who subscribed this month, and of course, everyone who gifted subs this month, because there were a significant amount of gifted subscriptions that allowed us to hit the sub goal for the month. <laughs> that man just, him and his horse just fell over. That horse is in a world of trouble. Ten. Low YouTube views. I started Banjo Kazooie. He wishes he was getting even a thousand now. <laughs> um, I finished up games like Dead Rising, Bioshock. Wait, what is it? No, no, no. Let's let's be fair. Let's be fair. We're on DSP Gaming right now. Let me go. Oh, those were his. I'm like, damn, twenty four thousand views of video. Shit, I guess he's making a comeback. I forgot those are his old videos. Um, all right, let's look. Uh. All right, he's still getting 1.4, 1.2, 1. 1.4. Oh, Philium. The views look terrible. Like some of these, they don't. They're not even a thousand views. Why am and I'm I looking toxic? at it like, how could the views be so much dramatically? Wasn't that from Dark Souls Three? He said that lower than what we're used to. Eleven. Under one percent of his current fans watch his content. My views are like this. And it's like, I, I don't know why. Because you haven't changed your content at all. You haven't experimented at all. And even I, I can even admit myself, Phil, that I've played a little too safe. And I'm, I, you know, and I, you know, it was funny laying in bed being sick the past couple days, which I, which, which is amazing right now. I don't feel sick at all. God, I got over that quick, and I felt like shit yesterday. Um, is that I, I don't want to retire ever. I don't care if I'm fucking 60. I mean, I want to be, like, happy and, and a millionaire, and I'm going to work my ass off until I get there. But I'll still want to do this, because I'm like, oh, wow, I'm laying in bed doing nothing. You know the two things I would do? I'd hang out with my kids, and then it, it, that would be first and foremost... And then I'd want to make, like, premium fucking content and go all out, man. You got to experiment, dude. You got to keep, like... It just seems like you're doing it now to do it. I actually... yeah, Of course, there's a financial incentive. Yes, this does pay my bills, but I think everyone could tell. I'm sitting here taking medical weed, drinking a seltzer, and watching a man with a beard. I'm having a good fucking time. No, I didn't get COVID. It literally was here on up, but man, it felt like someone punched me in the head. But it's it's I assure you, I never I never had a fever once. YouTube point five for watching his Twitter point one or liking his tweets. I'm probably not far up with that. I will admit, uh, Twitch point nine or watching his live stream from his eighty eight. Twitter, I'm probably around the same amount. Games and content. 12. Not very good at playing video games. Well, neither am I. But it, I admit to it. What the hell? I fell down a fucking hit hole! <laughs> Oh, but I may need to pause this right now and get that and get then clip that that is serious Kevin Luna that is serious I still think I missed the stream labs I did miss a fucking stream labs I fell down a hit hole hold on 
What the hell? I fell down a fucking hit hole. Yeah. All right. We have an emergency here. We have an emergency. All right. We're gonna keep. Don't worry. We're gonna go back. I I gotta I gotta get this right now. I gotta get this right now. Do you guys? You don't mind, right? Like that's that. That's how serious that shit is to me. Is it okay? It'll take me like three minutes. Because I know if I don't do it right now... Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Most of you were saying yes. Most of you... I see like one no. It'll take literally like two. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure I go for it. Okay. Unless it takes a long time to stream it. Or download it, I mean. Oh, this is going to be a big parse. Do it, do it. Try to relax your anus. All right. Oh, wow, it's downloading that shit real quick. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> now it's converting it. Do it, do it, do it, okay. Try fingers. What is that? I saw a lot of Pierce posting that. What the fuck is going on? Where's my, where's my drink? Where the fuck is my drink? Where is my drink? Where did my fucking drink go? What did I do with my drink? I don't know. I'm probably going to knock it over and spill it. I didn't drink. Where the hell fuck is the... Oh. Alex, thank you for becoming a member. You know where the, the fucking... I drank the drink and then put it in a box to go into recycling. Bad <laughs> anybody who says I'm mowing like wings over damn. Look here! Look, listen! Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. Okay. I almost forgot what we were doing here real quick. <laughs> All right, let me open up SoundForge. Oops. I almost forgot what we were doing here real quick. Now I just realized we're trying to get a clip of DSP making him say he's falling down a hole. Wish I could fall down someone's hole, but no one wants me to fall down their hole, so I just sit there in my room at night by myself doing nothing except playing with my own holes so that's no one wants to talk to me that's alright though it's fine not salty about that at all if you can go fuck yourself though you know something you can go fuck yourself Travis thank you for becoming a member just gotta do a little clip in here What did Patrick say? DSP actually defended cuties on Netflix. He needs to take a sip for Chris Hansen and explain himself. I never watched the movie. I can't really tell you myself how I feel. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I kind of sound like Seth Galifianakis where he had a little dog named Funyuns. I have a little dog too, but his name isn't Funyuns. His name is Bruno. He's a little shit and I don't like him too much. I like birds more so. <coughs> The vegan teacher is the girl. Jack, who is the vegan? I don't even know who the vegan teacher is. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just going to have some... Uh, what flavor is this? This is blackberry. It actually has a little bit of like tartness to it. I 
Yeah, some bucks sell some mechanics. I think someone else drank the can when I wasn't looking, and they said, oh, we're going to drink your can of seltzer when you're going to take a poo, and then it's, it's going to be real funny. He's going to come back, and he's like, oh, no, where's my seltzer can? And then he's going to blame the bird. The bird's going to be like, I had nothing to do with this. And then he's just going to freak out looking for a seltzer. Like, oh, look, the, he's just a stoner who drank it. Well, fuck you. Just keep your goddamn name out of... Just keep my name out of your mouth when you talk about me, mister. Okay? I don't say nothing about you. I don't, I don't talk about you having barbecues and taking a shit on your front lawn because you're drunk. Yeah. I see you. I won't say anything if you say nothing. Keep my name out of your mouth. This is delicious. Nice and tart going down the throat. You sound like Mr. Garrison from South Park. You know what I sound like? You keep my name out of your mouth, please. Just keep my name out of your mouth. All right. So what? T what's the? What's the time stamp right here? Where? Where is? Who is DSP six forty one? See what we can do here. Let's make the magic happen. <sighs> Eleven. Under 1% of his current fans watch his content. Uh. My views are like this. Uh. And it's like. I, I don't know why. We're almost there. We're gonna get there in a second. Games and content. So we got um, we got Gig Giga Chad Bill Clinton here. He says, "I like your southern accent. I like you got that swag, that cigar swag going on too, which you could do with those cigars. You don't want to know what he's he's actually secretly a piece of shit. He used to he used to hang out with Jeffrey Epstein. That Bill Clinton, he's a piece of garbage. You could tell Prince Andrew. I said, go fuck himself too. Please clap." Eleven. Under. Games and. Ah, oh, fuck. Content. Twelve. This is peak my elf performance. Content. Twelve. I fell down a fucking hit hole. <laughs> fell down a fuck. I fell down a fucking hit hole. <laughs> that is amazing. The vegan teacher mocks tragedies. I think we've seen. Oh, yeah, she's a piece of shit. She's a piece of shit. All right. I see people are getting bored with this, but I think it's entertaining, so. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell. Come on. Come on. All right, so we're going to we're gonna copy that. We control seed it. We're going to paste special. We're going to paste the new. And let's play this magic. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. <laughs> It's amazing, man. DSP. DSP hole. DSP hole. Well, I gotta see which one do I want to remove from here. Um, We're gonna get rid of the gobble from QVC. I'm tired of it anyway. Alright, so we'll move that out of here. And we will... Where is the Stream Deck soundboard? I gotta open it. For everyone here, yes, we are getting back to DSP, don't worry. Stream. DSP hole, here we go. Here we go, here comes the magic. We are gonna do the overlap. 
Where is it? I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell down I a fell down hit a fucking hole. hit hole. Turn it up a little bit. And there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. We are we are back in business. DSP is a man. I fell. <laughs> I fell down a fucking hit hole. Wow, his foot on the plat. What? How do I eat the rations? Well, obviously, the first thing you do is hump the floor. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. The first thing. The first thing I do whenever I'm hungry is stick my dick in a fleshlight and my hunger satiated. It's obvious. I have rations, so I don't know how to use them. I, fell I, I down don't a know fucking how to use uh, my rations. I have no idea. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more bottles up there. I don't think I left any behind. It's obvious this is what I'm supposed to do. What? Oh, yeah, he couldn't do the jump crouch <laughs> in a half life. Why can't I do it? This is so fucking weird. I don't understand. Like, what game mechanic that I, am I not doing properly here? I'm gonna get the jam. Fuck it. I missed the jam! I missed the jam! Pee pee poo poo, thank you. I missed it. What? You gotta be kidding me! The ramp didn't work! Oh, what? How tall is this fucking tower? It's like a thousand floors. <sighs> Philip Brunell is a man. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I gotta turn up the volume on that a little bit. Where is the DSP hole? I fell down a fucking hit hole. Dude, I'm dead! I'm dead! What are you supposed to do? 13. Philip Brunel is a man. That this is how you don't play movement. I fell down a fucking hit hole! Well, to redo this. I often uh, do backflips and put my balls in people's faces when they're shooting at me. It, oh, it works like a charm. <laughs> you gotta save that. What are you talking about? I never failed the mission. What you're doing to restart a room? I just recently saw a YouTube video from a guy named Evil AJ 2010 where he pretty much made fun of you in almost every way possible, from you having a horrible attention span, to you sucking at playing video games. And to fully watch my Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 playthroughs from the HD remakes of those games last year, to make extremely long montage videos of the gameplay, where they added their own personal like quirks and snippets and commentary, making fun of me. Get up! What? I didn't want to do- what the fuck? <laughs> when- yo, when- hold on a second. When the fuck did I equip the coolant? That made no sense, I didn't equip the coolant. 14. Oh, I can do that. Stream chat. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna sit here until someone tells me what I'm supposed to be doing. I wouldn't be wearing that outfit, but admittedly, I would do something like that. I fell down a fucking hit hole. That's that 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 just screams. I mean, I've yawned the kid, but you know, when you see me getting tired, I actually end the streams. I won't keep them going. <clears throat> Try to relax your kitchen. Go right and right again. There's no kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. Philip Rennell is a man. I don't know what to do. 
absolutely terrible. I don't. Someone, someone has to tell me what to do when he's on top of the. Someone has to tell me what to do. <laughs> Dude, you chose to be a gaming only streamer. You look up a let's play, or you look up what you need to look. It ain't your fucking audience's responsibility. Like, I'll ask, but it's not reliant on my audience. And I don't mainly do... Gaming is like 3% of what I do. It's it's a, increased somewhat recently because I'm doing the Wii U retrospective. But generally, I don't game that much on this channel. I watch you. Try to relax your anus. I fell down a fucking hit hole. The clock tower, I will never win this. I'll just be here all day. We'll never proceed. Yeah, play. He's really blaming his audience. Philip Brunel is a man in a Yoshi costume. <laughs> Bird techno. Bird techno. Cox. Cox. <laughs> Philip Brunel is a man. Ugh. All these idiots in stream chat. Phil's reading stream chat. I haven't even looked at stream chat in like a hundred years. In a hundred? Phil hasn't looked at stream... Phil hasn't... Phil hasn't looked at stream chat since before Edison invented the fucking telephone. He was... He was live streaming himself churning butter like an Amish man. I can't th fuck you, birds. I love the fucking Castlevania franchise. I wish they would do more with it. From software, man, just... Oh, I would... Because I know they would make it somewhat easier. Because I can't fuck with... I'm probably going to refund Elden Ring. I can't fuck with that. And I have so much other shit on my plate. With the, I got the Evercade versus... I got bought another VCS because I'm doing the VCS video. I know one X player. I'm sure I'm going to get 7,000 emails from him soon. I need to do this. So I could try, I could benchmark three fucking games that will run on integrated graphics on, uh, Intel drivers, but whatever. Um, did you watch his presidency? Yes, I watched it. I, I know he was taken out of context, but it's still an awful, awful fucking look. Dude, I ain't even gonna, t I don't have the time to attempt Elden Ring, man. I just don't. In a different lifetime, if, like, From Software existed when I was 15, I would probably be the biggest, like, uh, soul's head ever. Opinion on 4chan leaking Wings' fap video a while back and Wings denying it's him. I don't trust them. I don't trust them with anything. The whole shit they just did with that fucking freaky neighbor who was a scumbag piece of garbage. You know, and, and I've called out plenty of YouTubers when they do creepy shit with kids. Whether it be EDP or Shane Dawson or I'm not defending anybody. I have no hat in the ring with anybody. But you could... I, as a person who's been part, part of fucking Psychos trying to put out malicious, like, slanderous information about him, I get how that shit works. 15. It was decent but pretty repetitive, though. Ignores viewers. Some people, right now, are bored. I get that. Yeah, I think Phil ignored me recently, but that's okay, though. I get it, Phil. Because all we're doing is catching an evolving Pokemon. I actually sent him a stream telling him he's a man. Philip Rennell is a man. Philip Rennell is a man. Some people were here for the story. They wanted the combination of that. For me, I'm still digging Pokemon. I have fun every time we play. I really do. Opposable, yeah. Basically, everyone in the chat is basically being trolling and shit, and no one's talking to me, and no one's addressing the game. So I'm just gonna fucking focus on the game. I'm not gonna let my stream be derailed by people being stupid, because all they're gonna do is complain. See, he, and look, I've had my moments where I lose it, where I get in passion talking about some really crazy topic. Or if I'm talking about the quartering or Tommy Tellerico. <laughs> I don't know, man. I watch his streams, and it's the same hamster wheel every time, Phil. It's me watching them, bro. I I want to see you, and I genuinely mean this, and I'm not gaslighting. If you end up hitting 2 million subscribers tomorrow, and every one of your videos gets 300,000 views a video, 
and you like blow right past me then I'll be the first to congratulate you I'm not looking for your failure but yeah this is true man this is all you do they're not being malicious they're just telling you how it is they're just putting a mirror up in front of your face and you're just saying you're trying to tell people that you seeing what your reflection actually is is them hating on you and it's not some are and they're pieces of shit I get it they go too far I, I can't stand that but you should stream you playing some Castlevania at some point. I like I actually stream myself beating super. You know what pisses me off as an adult? I finally beat the original Castlevania. Yes, it was a ROM. However, I did not, and it's. I think the stream is still up on my uh, my main channel. Use no save states, and if anything, because I was playing on an LCD screen with a controller, I actually maybe was at a slight disadvantage due to some input lag. But I beat it. And I beat it like you just had a cartridge in the system, and some people still said I didn't beat it. He derails his own shit with his own mentality. He does. I'd love to play... Uh, I'll play another Castlevania game. Haven't I played Super Castlevania 4 recently, too? Play some Bloodlines. Ooh. Such an underrated game such an underrated game but yeah i use no like i that's like saying if you beat castlevania now if i use save states we can have the mike Matei argument and he has some valid points i kind of used to think the other now he always kind of like i get it but if you use no save states what's the difference if i have the castlevania compilation why because i'm not playing on the original cartridge but if i use no save states and i beat it how you would on the original system what does it matter you know, try the amazing 2D games Informax and Hunt Down. From what? Uh, question. The trolls can make videos about you and blast and embarrass you. Any advice about handling this when the world is mocking you? Ignore it. I just ignore it. Yeah, I, 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 everything out there <clears throat> about me is bullshit or t stuff taken out of context. And the mistakes I have made, I have owned up to. It, so, so here's what I do. They're putting out malicious information about me, which I mean, it, there are limits where if it's like, hey, you know, people talking about pers my personal life or my family or and putting out straight up lies. Even that stuff, you know what? No, I can't even say that. Even that stuff I ignore now because here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing. If I take it down, what's going to happen? Oh, maybe this person was telling the truth and Rich is trying to sweep it under the rug. So I just let it go and ignore it because it, it doesn't bring attention to it. It's part of the Streisand effect. Oh, I thought I had a fart and I had nothing for you. Try to relax your anus. I tried! Bloodlines, a Dracula X, the Super Nintendo version, or you mean the version for the uh, PC Engine CD-ROM? Super Nintendo version's eh. I'm, I don't think... I'm going to say something as a person who I feel knows enough about Castlevania I can give a valid opinion I don't think um, Rondo of Blood I think that Bloodlines and Super Castlevania 4 are superior to Rondo of Blood and I know a lot of people oh my god a lot of people think that Castlevania Symphony of the Night um, is the best Castlevania game ever made I don't even think it's in the top 3 my top 3 are Super Castlevania 4 I would say Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, and Castlevania Bloodlines. That's going to fuck some people up. The game is boring instead of talking to me, which is exactly what I said on the fucking pre-stream. I said, if you think the game's boring, talk to me. We'll have fun today. Everyone ignores me, so fuck off then. I'll just play the game. That just, I just, I want to, that, that, does that, that seems like a fun stream that I cannot wait to join. Absolutely. Absolutely not soul crushing at all. 10 out of 10. Best streamer out there. PewDiePie, watch out. He was actually streaming Elden Souls, but, or Elden, whatever. Some club th Beggy, beg, beg. There's a. Oh, hello, how are you? Look, I was, I'm not surprised it's a slow day, of course. I'm trying to finish up Dragon Quest Builders 2, which is a game I've been playing since July. It's not holding much interest anywhere. I knew today was going to be a slow day. I hope people would come by and hang out with me and talk, and they're not. They're just ignoring me, which is not good.
stop complaining about your the business, Phil, because that's what hurts the business. Streams fluctuate. Some streams I get more viewers, some streams I get less. Some streams I get more revenue, some streams I get less. It's how the business works. Do I wish I got 20,000 viewers a stream? Of course I do. But it's how it is, man. I'm, I'm, there are some people who can't get 100 viewers a stream who've been do, who are established YouTubers who have been doing this for a while. I'm great. Just be grateful for what you got and stop complaining about it because the people that do stick with you are eventually going to stop because they're going to be tired of you complaining. Fuck birds. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I love that. Try to relax your anus. Oh, yeah. I, I only half agree with you, DBZ. Here's why. Because what happened is, is that they just went, everything was Metroidvania on like the portable platforms after that. Where I think they should have went to with they really should have like they had something with uh lord the original lords of shadow the second one was shit um and i feel that they should have kind of went in a souls direction just not as hard and they would have had like a huge triple a blockbuster series on their hands and not just have castlevania just making a bunch of compilations and kind of in obscurity at the moment you can't have an engaging stream if you ignore the streamer, but they are, so it is what it is. 16. It is what it is, but I'll complain In. about it. Plays a variety of games. All right, so they are full harvest. Wow, it's almost nighttime already. See, this is why I couldn't be a gaming-only streamer, because I'd rather punch myself in the face than play Minecraft. I'm just being honest with you. All day to harvest all that shit. Damn. Got him. We'll have to do some low tier god, but doesn't he say some really hateful shit that I just can't have on here? That's my problem. I would love to delve into low tier god. Yup, I knew he was gonna try to trade, which is a bad idea. What the fuck? He was fatter there. He lost weight from here. <laughs> what is this? What is this? 17. I, I want to play. Phil, come be in my video for the Wii U. We'll play Just Dance together, dude. I'll, play, I'll pay for the plane ticket. He's getting Grandpa excited. Rich, you haven't had a normal stream in two weeks. What do you mean a normal? I mean, it, if you mean by me not being being fucking weird, I'm always weird. Rage quit. You mean are just talking? Yeah, I can't do anything. Look, I can't do anything. He's gonna eliminate me. Something I can do. It's over. It's over. Yep. Did he just? <laughs> Done. That's it. You can escape and start over, basically. Like, you can even escape from the final boss. Yes! Fuck it! We're watching the ending. We deserve it. We put up with this shit for too long. Wait, did he watch someone else's gameplay for the ending? I can't get any points. Look, they've all got hundreds of thousands of points. I can't get any points on the board. Yep, enough. I've had enough of this game. And the thing, those, those were pre-recorded and uploaded. He was, he was like, yeah, this is me rage quitting. Absolutely have to upload it. That's it, it's over. The playthrough's over. I can't beat it. And I'm gonna replay 20 to 25 minutes of gameplay to get back here. No, I'm not gonna do that. Quit the fucking game. It, it's points like this in my left that make me very thankful I've never become a Let's Player because I would be a tortured soul just like him. That's the checkpoint. <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm not wasting any more time. Just chatting? Dude, I like, like just sitting here and answering questions once in a while is fine, but I stream on a daily basis and I like having some fun with other shit, man. 18. Doesn't listen to game requests from the fans. Lisa the Painful was a game that was the top vote. 
Lisa the Painful. That sounds like a porn. Over, I think it was like over 120 votes, according to the poll. Uh. From what I'm to understand, Lisa the Painful is a turn-based RPG that's very difficult. I don't know. I don't get it. But in reality, Lisa the Painful... Because they want to see you rage, Phil. Well, ...didn't even make like the top five in the votes. It was all fake votes, which is pretty sad. 19. Not completing his Patreon video game goals. You know, a lot of people said to me, Phil, you haven't done now an Alan Wake, a new Alan Wake montage. Why not? That's another reason why I would never do a Patreon again, because I'm way too much of a scatterbrain to be able to have goals. I never had goals. I just had it where it's like, uh, like you know my thing. I explained, but I, I did a thing where once a month I would have live streams for people who did a Patreon, but like goals and like, I know there's some people that their full-time job is Patreon and like, they're sending shit out every day to people. I, I forget to turn off fucking light switches, let alone do that shit. So I rather, this to me is like crowdfunding where I hang out and do a show and I said, because all my time is going towards reviews. I'm beating the games. You want me to review them. I can't review them. And then also do this. And then also do that. I've got to, you know, use my time wisely. And right now, it seems the majority of people are saying, don't worry about these mods. Why is he posing like that? Was that a literal pose? Was that like, hi, I'm really thinking right now. I'm wearing a Nuka-Cola shirt. and My name is Phil. Feel my goatee. Montages, they're nice when you have a chance to do them. Do them when you have the chance. But for the most part, focus on your gameplay and your review. So I'm doing what the direct viewer feedback is telling me. And I hope that you're enjoying it. All right. 20. Complains about the games. It's so bad. The controls are the worst. <laughs> well, that is a fifth generation 3D game. I... There's probably a good chance the controls do suck in his defense there, but let's continue. I'm dead now. The hell is- is that Blacklight Retribution? I'm dead because the game fucked me. Because I couldn't get my scope. Because there was too much shit on the ground. They wouldn't let me just focus on the scope and pick- I fell down a fucking hit hole! Pick it up. I couldn't pick it up and move. I was stuck there and then this guy fucks me over. This fucking game sucks. So you're telling me, I pick up the thing I want, I get all my attachments, oh, we'll just spill your attachments on the ground. You can't even pick up the scope that's right in front of you. If this were real life, I could reach with my fucking hand and grab the scope and put it on my gun. I want Phil, in an alternate universe, I want Phil to work for QVC. Yes, we'll do Q... That's what we'll do tomorrow, QVC. We'll go back. There we go. Death proof. Or no, I'm sorry. Oh, my bird almost fell. Where is he? Dr. Pope. Okay. We'll do QVC tomorrow. I miss QVC. La. What? I didn't touch anything. <laughs> what? Why does he always do that voice when he gets really pissed? I fell down a fucking hit hole. Can you like? There's a lot of lab. Matter of fact, there was a laptop I saw for seven ninety nine that had a thirty sixty and Core i seven and sixteen gigs of RAM. For seven ninety, I was like, I was almost tempted to buy it to do a video on, but then I was like, you're gonna have to wait seven months. Don't even waste your fucking money. <laughs> he always, he kind of sounds like when he gets really pissed off. He kind of sounds like he's drunk a little bit. I like, fell down a fucking hit hole. What? I didn't touch anything. That is fucking bullshit. I was totally blocking. I did nothing and he punched. Fuck this. Fuck that bullshit. I didn't touch anything at all. 21. Gets angry with the developers. Remember when he had a fight, I think, with someone like from IGN? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he had like a fight with someone from IGN. And they, he thought they were jealous of him. <laughs> He's right there, aim, fire, d -d 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 -d. no hits. I instantly die, fuck off. Fuck off, Infinity War, you fucking hacks. Thanks a lot, fucking Capcom, you fucking hack idiots. <laughs> he's he's a man who's passionate about him. Very. Very nice. Completely bastardized and ruined by a bunch of fucking retarded idiots. 
<laughs> yes. He would, could you, I just, this, 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 this is an RCA. It's actually made in China. It's a piece of crap. I don't, I, they're not going to let me keep my job if you don't buy a hundred of them. What the? I fell down a fucking hit hole. I got a razor blade for 200, 200 bucks. 15 advance. How? What truck did that fall off? You had to miss a number or something there. Oh my god, they're so dumb. Philip yeah. Rinaldo's a man. You fucking own me? Fuck you. Because that's where it fucking belongs, in the fucking trash. When a company tells you that they're it more is... important than you and they own you, that's what you fucking do with them. Why am fuck I toxic? The Wii U Sergeant Jason Bond in the middle. Attitude. 22. Gee, Rich, why do you piss so much? Abuse towards an 11-year-old girl. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to piss in a second, speaking of which. But so it's so funny. Someone's like, Rich, you, you probably have an underlying condition. You're sick, you're sick all the time. I'm like, yes. My underlying condition is I have snot-nosed children that go to school that get their friggin' mucus all over me. I'm going to piss. I'll be right back. You know what's funny? Sergeant Jason Bond, why am I toxic? Hello again. I know I greeted you before, but whoever mentioned the soundboard, yeah, I know I overuse it and I have to kind of ease back a little bit, but this stream would be, there would be no, and imagine I was just still just staring at the screen and not, you know, especially with intro guy not here and, you know, I would just be talking to birds. It would just be this. That would suck. You know? I don't know. I'm just a man on the internet. Let's, uh, we all know this. Sure. One. Where is the waiting room? Well, if you look around, you would have been able to know. It literally says waiting room on top of it. Wow. <laughs> You're quite rude. I'm 11. You're 11? Yes. And your parents bought you a gaming PC? What's wrong with this picture? Yeah, parents buy their kids things. Now, grant that she should have a look. Dude, she, it's a kid on the internet. Do you think they're really going to be nice to you? They're going to, especially, you You look, we both look like we're, in, we're 40, Phil. She's probably, I don't know if she even sees you, but if she does, like, what the fuck is this weirdo doing? <laughs> well, yeah, and... We have enough people vaccinated. We're kind of getting to the endemic. But you know the conspiracy now is like, oh, well, now everyone's stopping about to COVID and now we're moving on to Russia and Ukraine. It's almost like one thing stopped and another thing happened. Yes, that's how it works. Horrible things happen all the fucking time. You go from one horrible thing to the next. That's reality. It's not a conspiracy. Horrible thing. I can't. I see that. Oh, oh look, now there's another terrible thing that happens. Yeah, imagine that. Another terrible thing happened in the world. That's how it works. Holy shit. Good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life. They've talked to me like. Yeah, that uh, was where you should have stopped, Philip. Put the brakes on. Like that. <laughs> I fell down a fucking hit hole. Oh. 
I wish Carlos would play Yoshi in Mario. Could you imagine everyone just slapping a bird and the bird is, oh. Yoshi's Island, except it's Carlos Island, and you're riding a bird. Oh. That'd be a good place to be. I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that <laughs> Yep. And you, then you said pimp slap about an 11 to fill. Come on, mud on, dude. 23. Depression, anger, debate. He has no one to cook for him. Yeah. He's not a fucking invalid. Of course, now we gotta get. Spread your cheeks, yes. Spread your cheeks. Spread your cheeks and just go to town. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies to everyone's ears beforehand, my ear. Try to relax your anus. Someone in the stream chat who wants to turn their own personal uh, story into, you know, derailing the chat, and I'm not going to put up with it, so I'm just going to warn you right now. You know, War Dog Leader, there's no way for us to know. Yeah, he, he, he shouldn't have uh, said he wanted to commit a violent act against an 11-year-old girl. I understand he was joking and it was on the internet, but it's, it's just, yeah... If what you're saying in the stream chat is legitimate or not, you could be someone completely making stuff up, or you could be completely legitimate. Appreciate the sentiment, and sorry to hear about a family member that passed away, but no one wants to hear you make this about how I'm in the wrong for being stressed in my life because you have a situation that's worse. Um, that's ridiculous. Go run your own stream. If Phil, if they have a point. I've said this, and it, it, you could say that this may be taken out of context, whatever. But I've seen in your own streams where you're live streaming, P Phil, I've, Pill, Pill, we're going to call you Pill, Pill of Brunel. Phil, I've been saying this for a very long time. Thank you for the wiener, wiener Patrick Flanagan. People come to streams to escape their problems. People aren't coming to hear Richard Review Text USA's problems. We all have problems. I have problems. All 702 fucking people here right now, which will probably the number will change again. Oh, look, 700. Have problems. No one, no one wakes up in the morning, no matter what their socioeconomic status is, and has zero fucking problems. But people like going to get entertainment to escape them. You were like, hey, everybody, you have your own problems? Here's mine on top of it. You were an analogy right now. How do you feel about that? I don't care. Go fuck yourself. Try to relax your anus. Exactly. But he, he hasn't caught on to that yet. He just like, I right, here's my you oh, you have your own problems, you have sick family members, you or yourself are having financial or health issues. Here are my problems. Could you donate a couple dollars to if you want to do that? We don't, you know what I mean? Like, he's trying to make me look like a villain because he says someone passed away and he's doing better than me. Wow. Well, good for you. Go ahead. You know what? Officially, for tonight's stream, you are the king of suffering. Ah, <laughs> uh, the king of tone deafness, huh? You're the king of suffering. Good for you. As a fucking what we're called detractors, I was just doing it as someone's like, oh my god, he's whining about fucking making pasta. Go fuck yourself. No, really. If you're that close-minded to that stupid of a person to think that, number one, that guy was telling the truth, and number two, that Stinks someone like shit. taking their own personal relative's death as a way to make them look better than me on my stream, when people are asking me what's been going on with me, why did I miss a stream, and make me look like a weakling or a villain, you think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. You're an idiot, and if you believe that stupid shit, go right ahead and believe it, because you're going to go right along with the millions of gullible idiots out there who believe everything they're fucking... I assure you it's not millions, Phil. I assure you nothing is ever millions for me either, so we're in the same club, don't worry. Fucking told. Seriously, it was obvious troll bait. 24. Racism. Oh my god, no. Coming to America. Don't shoot. Shoot him. He's black! Shoot him! Uh. 
I understand this is a very long time ago and he's trying to do edgy humor. I get it. And I've said a couple hot takes back in the day that, that and I regret them and I wouldn't but <laughs> Jesus, this is like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> it's time <laughs> He actually said that? <laughs> In China, they say, rashness brings success to few. In China, they say, Chiggy Chang, Wang, Charlie Chan, Chika Chaka Chaka Cha. Oh, but even like when he was doing this, this was totally not okay. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Phil. Philip, Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Brunel is a man. Philip Brunel is a man. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't care what they say in China. <laughs> what is it, Snake? Nothing! You stupid Talk fucking data, Chinese bitch! I don't want <laughs> But And it's just like continual. Look, Wings has said very stupid shit too. I have said dumb stuff, and I regret the dumb. I've talked about it a billion times. But where it's a difference between stumbling into something and where it's just like, you know, I think everyone gets what I mean. I don't fucking do anything here. Nothing. 25. Insult his own fans. Snow Curl Trees, how about we meet today's tips called you cancel next day's break? No, I need a break. How dare you? Snow Curl, you're doing it again. I'll tell you right now, Snow Curl, you're. The fucking Snow Carl at it again, that son of a bitch. I fell down a fucking hit hole. Try to relax your anus. Just the way that guy says anus makes that line so much better. Try to relax your anus. Your shoulders. Fucking doing it again. You want me to cancel the break that's there so that I don't have issues being sedentary all day, stretching my limbs, getting a drink, seeing my wife, you're being a jerk. So Carl, I don't understand how you don't understand how stupid this is. Stop it right fucking now. Because I don't want to have to permanently ban you, but I'm having enough of your shit. Quite honestly, let me take a look, because I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My god, the stream numbers were terrible. The stream numbers were terrible. He makes it... You know what he acts like, actually? He acts like a... You ever meet, like, a high school coach who, like, they really wanted to be a coach of, like, a professional football team, so they let it out on, like, their, uh, on, like, their high school varsity football, football students? That's Phil. Like, come on, man, we could have done, like, he just takes it, like, dude, it ain't their responsibility, your numbers. My numbers are my own responsibility. I've said this before. If I need to, if I'm looking to get a certain amount of chat revenue, I'll stream longer. Do I ever mention it to the chat though? Fuck no. It ain't my chat's problem. When you go to a restaurant, if they aren't hitting their numbers for the day, are they sitting there at the table like, look, man, you have to get another appetizer. If I don't get this margin on my tickets, man, I'm, I don't know, it's, it's, it sucks today. No, you can't do it. It's not how it works. I heard foil grim. I heard that's not true. That was made up footage again. That's why I never posted anything about it. Foil grim. It sounded like Phil really fell down a hole, and the guy yelled down to the hole to tell him to relax his anus for advice. Try to relax your anus. I just showed my grandpa, grandma DSP, and she told me to tell you, Rich, she wasn't impressed. Oh, your grandma's a smart person. Wow, what happened? Did he ever even get close to 400? He didn't, did he? Philip Brunel's the man. Here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged in his commentary, and Phil's commentary is boring, and that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the stream. Bullshit. So I've had enough excuses. It just seems to me like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. I don't even know what else to say. He meant that exactly. I know he apologized for that. He meant, Phil, when I don't want to watch, you're saying that people are too lazy to watch you do something. That That's an epic line from him. Dude, they just don't care. 
just like with me it's not like i get five thousand people to stream watch and i have a niche audience but you know what my niche audience is great i have no complaints you can't blame anybody else but yourself on your stream performance man to say you know yeah everyone says ricky jarvis he does kind of look like ricky jarvis i agree no carl I, dude i'm serious now fucking stop it <laughs> phil is boring bull the, the things that make him entertaining are the things that he hates that make him entertaining stop it now i will fucking put the controller down and ban your ass on the fucking spot if you don't shut the fuck up with this nonsense i had it philip brunell is a man all right pw dubs to the dollar 30 is now banned from the chat for spoiling wrestlemania like a fucking idiot yes i missed the stream labs did i i have stream labs open too don't i let me check it out man sorry I don't know why the notifications aren't working in Streamlabs OBS. I don't, I've tried. I don't get it. Let me see if I can find recent events. Why don't I see it? The Christmas thing reminds you of Wings when he got mad for Thanksgiving wishes. Yes, I heard about that. I saw that. I don't know if you celebrate Thanksgiving, that's fine, but I don't care about Thanksgiving. Ban anybody who talks about Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, should I try to get a PS5? Actually, that's from a while back. I don't see it, dude. Rich, can I smell your cheese at farts? Of course you can. As a matter of fact, here's an imagine an intro guy farting this right in your face. <laughs> I fell down a fucking hit hole. <laughs> I fell down a fucking hit hole. Sad day, Rich. My backwards compatible PS3. That's actually a really sad day. May the birds guide it safely into the afterlife. Can I get a long fart as to send it? Oh, well, of course. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your Try anus. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. Hope all is well up with you. I said right up front at the beginning of this stream, do not fucking spoil WrestleMania for anyone. He just spoiled a major match on WrestleMania in the stream chat, so you're banned now. Fuck you. You know people are going to do that, man. You know people are going to... You just got to... Oh, my God. Stupid asshole. That pisses me off, because I want to watch the matches, and I get fucking spoiled. Dickhead. Punch you right in your nuts through the internet. really just say he'd punch him right in the nuts through the internet I i'm starting to believe now that his obsession with like those those apps where he it's a gotcha app where you spend a bunch of microtransactions or maybe some truth to it like i don't want to know who wins phil it's phil it's predetermined it's all scripted who fucking cares like you could be a fan of it but it's not like the playoffs it's not like the nba it's not like you're watching you know what i'm saying Hello. You know what I mean? Much love, Rich. Keep being you. Thank you. That sucks about your PS3, though, man. I got a PS3. It's not bricked like yours. I, I bought it modded, and then I, yeah, I kind of was had like a dirt moment, and I put it on the internet, which was an awful idea, and then it bricked. It's, uh, I'm, I'm stupid. It's what it comes down to. Okay. Twenty six. Foul language. Uh, of a waffle, are you gonna be an incredible dickhead? He says, read the chat more. I'm playing a fucking game that you have to pay attention to 100% of the time, you fucking idiot. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, man. Yo, you know what? I've been streaming all day. You guys know it. I gotta tap out. Because tomorrow, I do want to get up a news story. Then I have to film the other Wii U videos. The games that I couldn't live stream. And, uh... I have to go watch some porn, so have a great evening. It's been it's been a wonderful ride. And to you, try to relax your anus. Have a great evening. <laughs>